No bathrooms in here, folks. You gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta find the latrine. <laughs> What What's is up? up? We are in Elkhart, Indiana. And we're at the RV Hall of Fame. Up. Okay. This place seems super cool on the website. A lot of histories of RVs and campers and things like that. So we're gonna go in and check, check it, it out. out. Let's go. Right here we have the Go RVing Hall. This is the most current RVs. All the new ones. Let's check it out. What will you discover? This is awesome. This is a 124 scale model of the RV manufacturing plant. But check it out, man. This is this is pretty cool. The detail in these, like the little chains and stuff, <laughs> holding it up, and like the boxes, the little tires, the little tires, all the all the ins all the insides with the RVs. Cabinetry. Oh man. Here's some actual RVs here. Why? Wow, look at all these little wires. <laughs> <laughs> Windows. And it's kind of cool just to see from this from the start until the end how how they progress. Doors and drawers. That's cool. They probably the have the tops off here so you can see in. Yeah. Furniture. And then the final finish. Look! Look at this little dumpster. They have like the discarded parts. That's so funny. Funny. Looks like we can go inside this one. I love the color is white and that and that like sea foam green. Yeah. What kind of is this? This is the Shasta. We got the, yeah, the color yeah, yeah. scheme staying in here. This is cool. And then we have a little couch. I bet these fold down in the beds. This looks pretty modern. This little fridge. Nice. Stove sink. Oh, look at this. It's you can you can poop and take a shower at the same time. Oh. J Feather by J Go or Jayco. Jayco. Look at this. We can go into this one too. Whoa. We have the fridge. This one has a TV. Wow. They have a radio. This one's a little bit more. This one has two big old beds. <laughs> I dig it. And look at this. A little style. Time. What do you think of this? Ah, no, it's good. This is nice. This is what our pop-up camper looks like, but not it's, not, really. it's, not, it's not as big. <laughs> I mean, it's not as wide like this. JF. Yeah, this is like. This is like a big old van. Big old RV, dude. Is RV. what they're called. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, fancy. Look at look at look at look at this green, man. That is that is some trippy. Look stuff. at this fancy bathroom. Don't touch any button electronics. Wow, they have a toilet. Is it a hot tub? There's a tub. So here's some beds. Can you get in here and sit up? Oh, Look at this. Here. Don't touch any electronics. It's a, or buttons for electronics. This is, man, I'd love to drive one of these. This is just like a van to me. It's it's new, but it's done in like an old vintage look. This The, the round corners, I dig it. RV Founders Hall. And these have RVs all the way into the 30s. She said like 1915 to something. Let's check it out. These aren't, these aren't modern ones. No moderns here. The American Journey. We definitely have Wanderlust. We love traveling. And here's a little scope. This is the oldest travel trailer in the world. Look at this. <laughs> this looks like there's a table and chairs in there, but it's I bet just you that... a table and chairs and some shelving. I bet that folds into a bed though. Maybe. It's a 1916 telescoping apartment. It's basically just a bed. Yeah. And then you put some feet down. And the little car part. And then you have a little stove compartment. Wow, things have definitely changed. Airstreams are so popular, man, in pop culture. 
even made a guitar and it looks like an Airstream because Airstreams are awesome. It's called the Air Screamer. We're checking out this 1954 Holiday, trailer. Holiday Rambler. Uh, and those are canvas little bunk beds. Oh man, you're held up by this look Larry over here. You're held up by three pieces of metal. Right here. That are held on by a piece of wood. Oh well. Uh, and there's a metal bar in the middle. That's there. crazy. Hey, what's up? What's this look like? Is it Ash versus the Evil Dead, maybe? Maybe. It kinda looks like it. <laughs> this is a 1985 Fleetwood Bounder. Oh, that sounds about right. So let's check it out. This one looks flashy. It's wider in the TV show. That's because they faked it. Yeah. But they have some seating. Man, this has everything. A you couch. have a bedroom back here, I think. Mm -hmm. Have a fridge. This is when they were getting more modern, I guess. Oh, man, this is a, f it's a full bed in here, dude. Yeah. And you have a little sink. Nice. Nice, I like it. I'd, I'd rent this. I'd give it a C. A C plus? No. Just a C? Yeah. He's playing with a good hand. It's a full house. Get it? Is this your serial killer mobile? Yeah, this is my serial killer mobile. It's got the nice 80s serial killer gold on it. <laughs> we have these crazy kids here camping got their little fire going Susie's touching Johnny's hot dogs oh boy the 1954 Spartan Imperial mansion it looks like a train car it does we have a seating area <laughs> like with seating area with real furniture yeah sewing a little machine dining room some there's a mansion um, okay get there this, like, grind some coffee. I know. Full, yeah. <laughs> full size sink. Here's a full size fridge. Almost a full size fridge. Wow, this we have this really old stove. Wow. Oh, there we go. We got, double, we got bunk beds. Wow, then we got bunk beds here. A bathtub and a toilet. Wow. Little mini. You got your sink. Eee. He took the bed out, but this is where the master bedroom would be. Oh, wow, yeah. This is probably like a mansion for back then on wheels. If you're ever in Tampa, Florida, you should check out Trailer Henge. Airstream Ranch. Airstream Ranch, a.k.a. Trailer Henge. <laughs> Look at this cool sign, Pecan Joe's. Route 66 in Roma. We have some more cool old signage. Jesse James Hideout. Tourist room. Free ice water. <laughs> We've been to Wall Drugs. Cool. <laughs> RVs and campers, man. Wow. I didn't know there was like that much history. I, mean, I knew there was history. <laughs> but I didn't think it was like that cool of like history. Yeah, you I know, know. To see them from like how simple they were to how high tech they can get now. That's pretty freaking awesome. You're pretty much now could live a house. Could be yeah. in a trailer. And back then it would just be like a small little thing with like a tent pop yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. So it's so interesting to see. Of course we didn't show you everything because no. you need to come and check it out yourself. Be able to like walk into them and experience it. Yeah, we were here for about an hour. Yeah. We could probably spend another couple hours here and still not take in everything. I know. But they let you in a lot of them. I didn't think they were going to let you in a lot of them, but they do let you in a lot of them. What did, what did you say? Like most of them? Yeah, there was majority. Only, there was only a few. Only the really older ones. They yeah, they, they have in. like a rope and they section them off. But yeah, if you're ever in Elkhart and you want to know some more about RVs <laughs> and campers and the history of all that, come check this place out. Reasonable price, 12 bucks a ticket. Yeah, for adults. For adults. If kids are under a certain age are free, I think. Until the next RV and camper museum video. Well, bye. Bye. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Do all that. Well, bye. No bathrooms in here, folks. You gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta find the latrine. <laughs> Double vlogging. Inception. Dude. But look at that.